Having the best technology was a key requirement for naval superiority in World War II. Schick statimeters were a key ingredient to the American and Allied efforts in World War II, including the winds in the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. This is the original statimeter model, manufactured by Schick in 1942. It was redesigned during World War II to be faster to operate, this one being manufactured in 1944. Commander Bradley Fisk was not only the inventor of the statimeter, but also the first to use it during combat during the Spanish-American War of 1898. By looking into the statimeter's telescope, the sailor could adjust the statimeter for the target that he's looking at by aligning the bottom half of the target with the top half of the target. And when aligned, the sailor could read the distance to the target off of the drum right on the scale. Having an accurate distance to the target was key for naval warfare. If you point two telescopes at the same target, even if it's miles away, and you know the distance between the two telescopes, as well as the angle of the telescopes relative to one another, you can then quickly assess the distance to the target. I'll remove the telescope from the statimeter so that a laser can shine through and show us the light path. The horizon glass is directly in front of the telescope and it splits the light beam into two pieces, one that goes straight through and the other that gets reflected. The reflected beam is directed back to a second mirror which sits next to the telescope at the other end of the statimeter. This serves as point two from our example, but is actually known as the index glass and redirects the beam towards the target. Turning the drum causes the mirror angle to change until the bottom half of the image aligns with the top half. And again, the sailor would simply read the distance to the target on the drum. While in the Army in World War I, Jacob Schick invented the magazine repeating razor, later to be named the Schick Injector, and it sold in the millions. In 1930, he patented the world's first electric razor using an electric motor. Schick sales grew worldwide, and they were manufactured in the former Blickensdorfer typewriter factory on Atlantic Street. When World War II broke out, Schick and the factory workers shifted over to manufacturing statimeters. Hundreds of workers from Stamford and the surrounding towns manufactured tens of thousands of statimeters for the Allies in World War II. The accuracy and the robustness of their statimeters saved many, many lives in the American Navy. Navies around the world still use statimeters today when the situation calls for radar and electronic silence. It's a technology that's been proven for over 100 years.